Hello and welcome to another edition of Growth Points. Today we will be taking a look at a verse of scripture from 1 Peter chapter 3, verse number 15. And it says this, But in your hearts set apart Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. Peter calls for us to have an inner reverence for, a commitment to, and a dependence on Jesus as Lord that we are willing and ready to speak for Him and to explain our faith to others. This means that you and I must know Jesus and God's Word in order to rightly witness for Jesus and to lead others to Him. Always be prepared to give an answer. The word translated prepared means ready, willing, and equipped. That means that you and I must be ready to speak about our hope in Jesus because we never know when we might encounter someone who needs hope and that they are ready to hear about Jesus. So as we go about our day-to-day -day activities, we need to live, act, and speak in a way that is that brings hope, that brings a positive difference. And as you bring hope and as you bring a positive difference, people are likely to ask you about it at some point. Even people who are skeptical or give you a hard time about your faith may confront you with questions. So we must be prepared to give an answer. For us to know what to say comes from having a close relationship with Jesus and a commitment to knowing His Word. We must be prepared for the hope that you have to know who you are in a relationship with. And we are in a relationship with Jesus. And as people realize that we have a relationship with Jesus, it will cause people to see a difference in us and perhaps they will ask us about it in an effort to find hope in their own lives. We must be prepared to answer them with gentleness and respect. We must know how to respond to questions or challenges about our faith, which is vital as we desire to reflect the love of Jesus and the character of Jesus. And it is so vitally important that when we speak about spiritual things, particularly about the hope that we have found in Jesus, that we do it with gentleness and respect. Many times people will resist someone who is arrogant, someone who responds harshly, and that, that is presented as an, an argument. Such an approach is inconvincing because it feeds into the misconception that followers of Jesus Christ are rude and defensive. By being respectful, we are more likely to be heard and perhaps develop a relationship through which we can influence follower, un unbelievers to become followers of Jesus Christ and to consider for themselves the hope that is found in Jesus. Finally, we reflect Jesus' character when we show kindness. And remember, kindness is one of the fruit of the Spirit. I'd like to pray for you and with you that we would be able to put this verse into practice in our lives. Heavenly Father, thank you for the talents and the giftings and, and the abilities that you have given us. Thank you for the blessings that you give us. And I ask that you would help each and every one of us to set you, Jesus, as Lord in our hearts, and that we would be prepared to give an answer to 
everyone who asks us, hey, why do you have hope? Why are you able to live your life the way you're living? And how are you able to uh, go through these situations and, and, and respond in a, in a way that is, is, is gentle and, and respectful of others, showing kindness and demonstrating your love I pray this prayer of blessing over each one of you. We ask God to give you complete knowledge of His will and to give you spiritual wisdom and understanding. Then the way you live will always honor and please the Lord, and your lives will produce every kind of good fruit. All the while you will grow as you learn to know God better and better. We also pray that you will be strengthened with all His glorious power, so that you will have all the endurance and patience you need. May you be filled with joy, always thanking the Father. He has enabled you to share in the inheritance that belongs to His people who live in the light. Because of you, Jesus, and the hope of heaven, we believe and we know the best is yet to come. Amen.